In the previous presentation, we had discussion on a short circuit and we discussed two cases for a short circuit. The one is ideal case and the other one is practical case. Now in this presentation, we will be discussing about the concept of an open circuit. So the open circuit is basically an incomplete circuit with very high resistance. So by higher resistance, we mean the resistance of an open circuit is infinite, infinite ohms. So here we also have two cases for the open circuit in which the first one is the ideal case. So for the ideal case, the current through the open circuit is equal to zero ampere and the resistance across the open circuit is infinite and the voltage across an ideal open circuit is infinite also worse. Now to understand the ideal case in a more brief way, let's take an example in which we have a voltage source and there is nothing connected across the terminals of this voltage source. So there exists an open circuit across the terminal of this voltage source. So let's say we have an air between these two terminals. So the resistance in this case is infinite ohms. Infinite ohms. And the current through this open circuit will be equals to zero ampere. Because the resistance of this path is very high, so the current will be very low. So if there exists in a little or a sim small amount of current through this path, uh, so the voltage across this open circuit will be equals to infinite ohms, infinite volts. So which is impossible or impractical. Because it is violating the law of conservation of charges. Law of conservation of charges. Conservation of charges. Because initially the current is finite. Now when it is entered to this open circuit, the current becomes equals to zero, which is impossible or impractical case. So the ideal case is impossible. Now let's take a practical case. So for the practical case, the resistance across an open circuit is infinite, like an ideal case. Now the current through the open circuit is zero ampere, like an ideal case. And in this case, the voltage across an open circuit will be finite. Now to understand this point in a more brief way, let's take an example in which we have a voltage source having the voltage of 10 volts and there is 10 ampere of current flowing from this source and this source is connected with two resistors which are connected in parallel to this voltage source each resistor having the resistance of 1 ohm so 5 ampere of current will flow through this resistor and 5 ampere of current will flow through this resistor and the voltage at this point would be 10 volts because there is no resistance in the path of the voltage. So the voltage here is 10 volts. And also at this node, the voltage would be 10 volts. Now there is an open circuit across the terminal of this battery and this voltage source. Now the resistance across this open circuit is equals to infinite because there, is, there exists an open circuit between these two nodes. So the resistance across this open circuit is infinite ohms infinite ohms and the current through this open circuit is zero ampere so all the potential difference will be appear across the terminals of this open circuit because if we if this positive terminal having the potential of 10 volts and this negative terminal having the potential of zero volts so as a result the 10 volt of potential will be appear on the upper terminal of this open circuit and then zero ampere will, zero volts will be appear on the bottom terminal of this open circuit so the potential difference here will be the potential difference or voltage across an open circuit will be 10 volts so the potential in the practical cases is finite so the potential difference or voltage for the practical open circuit is finite finite so it's all for today's presentation if you have any doubt ask in the comment section see you in the next one